Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. Today we're in game with uh, Skeggy Media, our newly created character. And I thought I would look into some of the crafting in the game, so I thought I'd do a basic course of the crafting trees in the game, so if we have a look at those. Now, the basic You've got your gathering skills and your refining skills, but we're going to be looking at production skills. Now you've got one for blacksmithing, one for carpentry, one for tailoring, one for alchemy, and there's nothing in cooking as of yet. Now a lot of the trees work the same. So you've got the base skill on all of them, and you have a second tier skill, which in Blacksmithing, carpentry, and tailoring are all the same. So you've got repair, salvaging, and master working. And then, of course, in alchemy, you've got enchantment, which is your second tier, which is similar to master working. And you've got master working, of course, in tailoring, carpentry, and blacksmithing. And then, of course, down here you have your specialised master working trees in each of them, in tailoring, and also in enchanting. So they all work in the same method. So even though I'm going to be using blacksmithing tree as an example, the same rules would apply to carpentry, tailoring, or alchemy. So, and as we know, cooking hasn't got anything in yet. So everything really revolves around the first skill. You need to get, get that as high and as possible, as quick as possible, basically. And you need to get it to level 40 before you can take on this second tier. And then to come down to your master working tier, come through the master working, you can choose your master working speciality but you need to be at level 50 in master working before you can come down to this tier here now one way to get this up you can craft items of course but that would be rather expensive but there is a far easier way of getting your base skill up when you go out into combat you will always pick up some weapons which aren't worth a lot and what you can do to get this up to level 40 or even higher is actually to salvage the weapons that you get and turn them into scrap either wood scrap or metal scrap so all we need to do is open up our tree sorry our crafting bench in this case we're at the blacksmith bench because we've got swords and we're just going to select all of the swords and put them up there and you can only do 15 at a time so we've done that and now we should see this improve as we do the salvaging so we've got level 29, 30 now you will get up to level 40 relatively quickly I don't know if I've got enough to get to level 40 I'm going to do it Yep, we've got enough. So now, with just those few swords, well, it's 15 in there, so it's probably about 20, 25, maybe 30 swords, I would think. we need to get up to level 40. Um, so we'll take all of those, and we'll quickly put the others in. And we'll salvage those. As you can see, it starts starts off very fast and then slows right the way down. Now, what we would need to do now is go to a crafting trainer and then learn these skills here, which is repair, blacksmith salvage, and you can learn that one, but I wouldn't start doing it until this is much higher, because there's a chance of failure on master working, which I will cover in a separate video but basically the higher this is then the greater chance of not failing in this skill that's a good idea to 
start master working once you've got this skill here up to probably around about 60 or even higher depending on how long you want to wait. Now master working of course is taking a basic weapon and then crafting it into something that's better by using silver. Now you can learn these because if you've got sword, shield or armour in my case I'll be using this skill here to repair my armour and that of course will help that skill go up and then if we learn that any, any more salvaging we do we will get better at it and of course with certain weapons like elven bows we get the chance of getting a pattern or a specialised item out of the salvage so that is a basic overview of the crafting that we find in the game and I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Now, if, you, if you are new to my channel, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll get to know when more of my content comes out. Also, feel free to leave any questions or comments in the section below, and I will get back to you. And thank you for watching.